hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm sorry about that intro it just wasn't doing <laughs> so today we are going to be making a fruit cake in a pot can you believe that i made this fluffy perfect fruit cake in a pot i swear in my kitchen pot <laughs> so and i'm also going to be showing you guys the comparison between baking in a pot as well as baking in a regular conventional oven so basically i baked two of those pans one in a pot and one in an oven so you guys can see the difference and i was really surprised i swear to god i was so surprised can you believe that cake was baked in a pot so if you don't have an oven in your house this is the trick guys this is the video for you and you have to watch it to the end so you can understand what i am talking about okay so guys i'm going to give you guys three different tricks to baking in a pot the first thing you have to make sure is you have to make sure your windows are open because guys like the room was the kitchen was smoky as fuck like like everywhere was stuffy and i was wondering why until you realized that okay guy, girl you're baking in a pot <laughs> and your windows are closed so i had to open up the windows and the second trick is when you turn on the heat you have to turn on the heat to high at first so the first five minutes while your pot is on the heat and then when you put your cake inside the pot you should reduce it to the lowest the barest minimum ever otherwise your your cake will burn it will like caramelize all around it but the inside would not be done so just have a really hot pot and then reduce the heat so you can bake gradually so guys the fourth trick is to use a pot that is big enough for air to circulate inside your pan do you understand okay which means you were, that was the reason why you use that little bowl you know so that it will be small enough to be able to fit inside the pot while i cover it and still there will still be space for hot air to circulate inside the pot do you understand okay i'm sure you do so guys let's get back to this cake so right now i'm trying to caramelize the sugar because caramelized sugar kind of makes your um fruit cake very <laughs> it gives it a very brown color that's if you don't have brown sugar of course and then it also gives it this caramel taste it is really amazing i promise you guys <laughs> okay guys so we're going to transfer this into a pot and then i'm going to mix all my butter together and we're going to put it in two different um baking pans and then we're going to put one in the oven and the other one in a pot so guys it's time to like make the batter for our cake so we point our four egg yolks into the bowl and then 250 grams of butter melted butter of course and then we're going to stir that together and then we're going to add to that our caramelized sugar it's important at this stage to stay really well because you want the caramel the caramel to melt in the butter and in your wet ingredient basically and then we're pouring in like half a cup of kefir and then stay really well so now it's time for our dried ingredients so we need two and a half cups of flour and then you're going to stay well it's important that you don't overstir because when you overstir your cake it kind of beats out the gluten and you don't want the cake to be tough you want it to be crumbly and nice you know and spongy so and then to that i'm going to add a tablespoon of baking powder a tablespoon of baking soda a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and then we're going to stir everything together and then the last thing we're going to add is the fruit and don't forget we marinated this fruit in some orange i know i didn't say that but i hope you read it on the screen in some orange like i squeezed some orange into it the night before so it could soak because i didn't want to use alcohol so now our whipped up egg whites so begin to fold this in gradually in three batches the reason why you're folding it in three batches is because you want it to still hold up the you know the volume you don't want to deflate the old egg whites that you make so you should fold it in in three or two batches if you like so this one i'm folding it in three different batches so it can be really nice and fluffy and voluminous the reason why i'm doing this is because someday i don't bake my cakes this way but i'm doing this because i'm going to bake one in a pan and in a pot and i want it to give it as much um 
as I want to give it a lot of chance to really rise and <laughs> I don't know if you bake your cake this way like you're already like helping it rise because of the air yeah, you already beat into the egg whites so that's the reason why I'm doing this because it's not baked in the pot so let's see how this goes guys so now I'm going to transfer the butter into two different pans the same pans and I'm going to try to fill them at equal length as possible because I want to see which one bakes first and how it bakes and which one is better to get so I'm going to be using this non-stick pot <laughs> and then I'm going to cover the pot and then leave it on for at least 20 minutes before I touch it I make sure to reduce the heat to the lowest possible the lowest possible so I'm going to transfer the other one into the oven and then wait for maybe 30 40 minutes and come back and check it so guys this was 42 minutes later <laughs> it's so funny the other cake i baked in the oven was baked within 20 within 24 to 27 minutes but this one took around 40 almost 50 minutes and it's important to note that the first 20 minutes when i opened the pot like the outside was brown but the inside was still not done at all and the oak place was full of smoke so what i had to do was to open the window and reduce the heat and I think this cake is done. See the knife comes down thing, and then it is drier. I think it's a little drier than the other one, and it is spongier. I don't know how, but like I'm so surprised. Like <laughs> seriously, it is drier and spongier than the one that was picked in the oven. And if you notice, I didn't put the pan directly on top inside the pot i put it on top of something that way the heat was not directly on the baking pan so see how dry this cake is see how dry or see how moist this one is wow okay so guys i'm going to take it out of the pan and show you guys how the look on the inside so we're going to slice it open in the middle so to be perfect see how spongy <gasps> so spongy okay <laughs> so guys we're going to cut this cake in the middle and see what it looks like inside so let's see <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, still very hot and look at this one this one really had time to cool down like some is moist and just you know chilled <laughs> but the other one is drier and spongier but they're still very perfect cake see this is when I baked in the pot. See how spongy it is. Like, guys, if you don't have an oven in your house, you can bake in a pot. Definitely bake in a pot. So, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and tell me what more videos you want to see. I hope you guys learned a few things. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.